Arsenal Fan TV. I'm here with the legend yeah, himself, yeah, yeah. Mr. Ian Wright. Saying, right, Rob? right. What are you saying, Rob? <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really Love good. Love Arsenal it's always, TV. always a pleasure to have you on here. Top man. And to be sharing a drink with you, he even no, bought, he bought me this drink as well. Cheers. It's the world of, I told you there's a world of Arsenal watching us now. So, you know what I mean? We've got to represent. Definitely. Now, listen, we've got to get into it. The mm -hmm. North London derby. 1-1. One, one. Good point or a bad point? I think we have to. I think we have to say a good point. It's an opportunity missed simply because City did uh, did slip up against Villa, um, and you know it's one of those. I put on Twitter that you know what I mean. It's an opportunity. The ball's in our court, and you know for, for us to have like beaten Spurs, and I we had the chances to beat them. Mm. For us to beat Spurs at this stage, it would make people start to think maybe you know oh yeah go Arsenal again. They have this form, but then they'll fall off. If we could have beat Spurs yesterday. And then, you know what I mean, the next games that we've got coming up, and the games we've got coming up, I think they're winnable. Yeah. So then people will start to really take us seriously simply because the, the players, for me, they, they've changed. Ozil's playing well now. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, Ramsey's injured now, but that, you know what you're going to get out of Sanchez. And, you know, Giroud, apart from yesterday, you know what I mean, he was battering people about. There's people who are playing well. And so it would have been a good marker to put down. But unfortunately, like I say, we, we didn't do it. I was quite nervous. I'm always nervous about the derby. You know what I mean? Spurs are playing well at the minute. They started well, got a good young team. And, you know, as much as we didn't play great, we should have still beat them. Mm. And the thing is, what I want to ask you about that, right, is that you reckon the players, right, knew it was a... Are they as pumped up as, like, say, when you were playing, that, well, to know that it's a North London derby? Because, you know... The first half, I'm not going to fault them in the second half. They mm. showed a lot of spirit. Mm -hmm. They really went for it. But in the first half, they were so flat. Really unusual for a derby game. You know something? Flamini, for me, you know, I, I would have, you know, we, we now know that Santi weren't well. Um, and just knowing that alone, uh, and it's a, it's a position that's, 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 you know, Santi's getting used to, you know what I mean? Because he's more of an offensive player, but he's playing more defensively so as he can start attacks off. But... Just because of the game it was and the, the, the player that Flamini is, he gets it. I think he gets it. And, you know, we needed that. We need somebody like him to hammer into some challenges because I thought that their midfield were, 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 were good yesterday. They'd done pretty well. Uh, Dyer and Moussa Dembele, no one could deal with him. And I thought that someone like Flamini would have been in there just to, to, to have that grit, what we needed. And I don't think they get it like, like I get it because I was, I was like... My nerves were shredded yesterday, <laughs> simply because if Spurs beat us, <laughs> right, it really is a nightmare until the next game. Yeah. Um, and I know that we've, um, we always score uh, against Spurs at the Emirates. I think the last time we didn't do it was 98. Mm. But like, it, I, I was so nervous. I don't know if the players feel the same way um, about mm. the nerves and what it means to the fans, because the fans are exactly the same with the North London derby, with Spurs and with Arsenal. The players have changed as time's gone by. In my time, you know, I came through with, with, with Rowcastle and Adams and Merson and people that it was ingrained in. So that kind of that kind of gets into you and it was the same with the Tottenham players. But now I think that's slowly kind of changed and the boys may, may just see it as, mm. yes, Tottenham are across the road, but they don't, they don't hate like, like we <laughs> hated and we yeah. needed to know that mm. we were going to win that game and make, make sure we, we won that game. I don't mm. think it means the same. Talk. And maybe that's why a guy like Kieran Gibbs coming on, playing out of his skin, local yeah, guy, yeah. you know what I mean? He does know what it means, and it was great to see him score. Well, you know what I mean? Whatever people say, you know what I mean? It was brilliant for him. It, when he came on, you're thinking, you're looking at our, at our bench and you're thinking, well, Kieran is what we're bringing on at this stage. And when you look at the team, what we did finish with on the team, um, well, you know, Arteta was playing, Firmini was playing, Gibbs was playing out of position. You could see how we're kind of down to the bare bones a bit, but... You know, he came on and, like you say, it, it meant a lot to him. And to be honest, I love him now even more because <laughs> he saved us from losing against Spurs. But it was, um, it was something that, that could be a big point. And I think, that, you know, as much as you can look at it negatively, simply because of the chances that were there. And we're not talking about half chances. They're good chances, Rob, with all due respect. I do love him, mm. but they were good chances. Giroud, you're talking now. Yeah, and the, the frustrating thing what I've, I've got with him at the moment is that now, when him and Theo was, is he playing his field, playing his... There was a little bit more intensity about him, and when he came on, he was more big man. He was knocking people about. I saw him against Everton, knocked two defenders about, mm. holding it up no matter what, not falling on the ground and all that. Yesterday, he went back to it. It's like Vertonghen's in his head. Mm. Vertonghen totally took him off his game. And when he was in the mode like he was 
against Everton, you felt like if a chance came, anyway, he's going he's gonna to take it. Yesterday, it was petulant and falling over, wanting linesman, referee to give him stuff. His mind weren't on the game, and I felt like that's when we needed him most. And I, I felt a little bit disappointed about that. Mm. Right, happy in the end with the point? Of course you've got to be happy with the point. And I'd have been happy with any point, but a point against Spurs at, at the Emirates, you know, for Karen Gibbs to save us like that and get the goal, was, was, I was delighted. delighted. We're still up there, we're still amongst it that he used to play for Arsenal and he also played for Tottenham. Yes. And you know what, before we get into the, the North London derby, I want you to explain that. So Actually, you to explain? Tell me, tell me. Explain. Get, 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 get the grudge off. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about me. Really. First of all, I want you to explain um, how you started at Arsenal and then how you ended up at Tottenham. 